Well, as part of his 87 counties in 86 days tour, Governor Mark Dayton made a stop in Wadena today to talk with local business leaders about the issues regarding workforce development. Our Logan Gay has more. Wadena was stop number 30 for Governor Dayton's 87 counties in 86 days tour. On this stop, Governor Dayton made a visit to Minnesota State Community and Technical College to listen as community leaders expressed their concerns about workforce training. There was a lot of some concerns, I think, about um, credentialing of faculty. There were some concerns, I think, about some health care um, initiatives that I really don't know a lot about in the hospitals. Um, there were some concerns about our ability um, to work together as a region, not because we don't want to collaborate, but because of the time and distance. Governor Dayton believes there may be a disconnect with the workforce. There's a disconnect between people who are, have jobs that they're looking for employees and, and people who don't have work and who don't have the skills that uh, they need to, to access those good paying jobs. The workforce training issue is not going to be fixed overnight, but a possible solution may be found in the educational system. There's some wonderful jobs out there, and um, we need to better educate the public on what those jobs are, what they entail. Governor Dayton plans to take the input he heard from the community leaders back to the Capitol. I'll translate this into uh, initiatives that either the executive branch will go back to the Department of Employment and Economic Development, which runs, runs the workforce training programs, and give them this feedback. And then the legislative session starting in January, an opportunity to deal with some of these uh, regulatory concerns. In Wadena, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Today, Governor Dayton also made a visit to Otter Tail to discuss water quality issues. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.